Okay, so just as promised, it is part two already. There was like a five second gap between really? part one what? and part two. Turned it off, reached up, turned it back on. But anyway, so we're going to talk about these new people. Uh, we got Miles, Charlotte, Naomi, dead. Lapidus, Faraday. Who we may refer to as Upham. Upham, because he was in Saving Private Ryan. Watch that movie, by the way. Very good. It was good. on this weekend. It was on this weekend? Cool. It's good. Shameless plug. But, um, yeah. So let's talk about these people. So out of the four, who is your favorite? My favorite would have to be Miles. Miles, because he's just, he's got some weird stuff going on. He's yeah. not nice, and he also can talk to dead people. Yeah. Which is... Who doesn't want to talk to dead people? Who doesn't want to? At times, maybe. At times, you know, six cents kind of thing. Might end up being bad. Yeah. I see dead people, I talk to dead people. I don't people. want to see them, I just want to talk to them. <laughs> you just hear random floating voices. Whispers. What's I'd, that? I'd be fine with that. <laughs> Whispers. <laughs> that has something to do with it. Spoiler warning, but um, too, late too late now. But let's talk about some of these little flashbacks we got for the new people. Um, the most interesting flashback I think was with Charlotte. Yeah. When she finds the Dharma polar bear in the middle of the desert, and what's the Dharma polar bear doing off the island and in the middle of a desert? And evidently, it's been there for a while. Yeah. Well, people. Um, spoiler warning. All I can say is, orchid. Time, 31 seconds. End spoiler. <laughs> but yeah, that'll make more sense as the time goes by. I don't get it, so I'm right there with you. He's right there with you. But um, we also had some priceless Ben moments this week. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Let's those. first go to um, the first episode. The first episode. Yeah, we didn't really comment on the first little thing that got us laughing. He, he, he gets to me. He, <laughs> he, he has some funny looks. Um, his whole, you know, when they look over and Naomi's gone, if you saw the episode, surely you did if you're watching this. Come on. Come on now. If you haven't, pause this. Pause go watch it. it. Go come watch back. it. Come back. You'll understand. We almost synchronized. He did the that. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so they look over there and Naomi's gone. And Jack walks over there to Ben and says, where is she? Where'd she go? And Ben's reaction is, <laughs> like he would really tell him. Like he would really tell him, but the, just the look on it is... Bloody, tied to a tree. I mean, he's bloody tied to a tree, and he's just... Uh, it's, it's funny. It's uh, very good. Oh, man. And then this week, we had a nice little moment with Carl, and Carl got all mad at him. Pulled out, almost pulled the gun. Pulled, almost pulled the gun out. And, of course, Carl is with Ben's adopted daughter, Alex, which... Yeah. Anyway, you won't understand it if you've never seen it. But um, Ben, look, Ben looks at him and says, Carl, Carl. If, if you're going to have sex with my daughter, the least you can do, and then he just keeps going. But just the way he says, Carl. Does a little head, head thing. turn. And then, of course, at the end of the episode, spoiler warning, if you didn't watch the end, why Come would you on. watch it and then turn it off at the end? Pretty dumb. Sorry. Sorry. But, um... At the end, when he starts going on about, he gives Charlotte's full name, the name of her parents. A rant, if you will. Where she went to school, the college, who she works for, and all this. And, of course, she just looks at him like, well, he's right. Yeah. That was a pretty cool Ben moment. And there's going to be some more cool Ben moments next week. And, of course, spoiler warning, the photo. Spoiler warning, the photo of the him in his, little, <laughs> in his little vest. He's just, I'll do this for you. He's, that's his look <laughs> in the photo. you got to love that. But it's like, yeah, you think they could have got a better one? Yeah, you think you know maybe they could just have him doing like that instead of that weird look. It's like they just yelled out Ben and he turned. Huh? Who me? Oh, you won't use that picture against me one day? Surely not. <laughs> but um, there's gonna be some very good Ben stuff next week, so stay tuned for that because it's gonna get pretty interesting. Well, next week. Why am I saying that when it's tomorrow? Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow there's gonna be some interesting stuff with Ben. So. Yeah, stay tuned for that. I can say there are some twists. Are there turns? Are there are turns, too. Oh. They combine with the twists. <laughs> Twist make, and turns? They make twerns. Twerns. Is that what a twern looks like? Yeah, that's what a twern looks like. All right. We're not crazy. Not at all. We just do podcasts and are on YouTube a lot. And while I'm at it, go ahead and watch the rest of our YouTube videos. Not, you know, pimping our, our videos or anything. Don't do that. Don't do that. But um, go watch them because they're awesome like two other podcasts and 70 other videos. Are you up to 70 now? I'm like at 75. <laughs> My goal is to get to 200. But anyway, off the topic of Lost there momentarily. Get back. I'm back. 
Um, let's see, what else do they need to know about this episode? Um, well, ah, Lapidus, the pilot of the helicopter that gets the people to the island. He was supposed to be the pilot of 815, Oceanic Flight 815, but he didn't, so therefore the other pilot ended up getting killed by the smoke monster. Hmm. So, well, Lapidus was supposed to be there, and now he is there, which is pretty ironic. And somehow he is able to land the helicopter, but we find him, and he's all bloody and crawling up a hill, and he sees a cow, so I'm thinking there's some stuff we don't know right there, because... I don't think he landed it and then just started walking. No. Because something had to happen. Mm-hmm. I think he had to run in with something. Maybe a smoke monster. It's the noise it makes. That's our interpretation of smoke monster. Compare it. It's almost the same. But um, I'm afraid we've probably run out of time for this part, but uh, there's going to be a part three, so watch it. You have to. Bye.